I always look for the guys that suit the top. Yeah. They must be important. I'm important. I'm a regular guy. I'm running for U.S. Congress. Okay. The first district in the future. Okay. Uh, what's your name? Carol St. Paul. John Steele. Okay. I'm a commissioner for all U.S. Congress. Here in the hands. Commissioner? Yeah. Okay. Well, are you a freedom guy or not? That's what they say. We're for people, not against people. The government needs to realize that more mandates, more spending in areas where we shouldn't be spending, more controls, more regulation means less freedom. And when you look at the whole picture of the last five years, we've had $1.5 trillion of deficit spending. That is That credit card in Washington is maxed out. And okay. somebody's got to change that soon. Okay, from my perspective, you, you know, I know a few people and I can be helpful, but my bottom line is the government needs to get out of the way and let the folks do their thing. Because the government is here to protect our rights and our liberties as individuals, not to fix stuff for us. Let the folks do and, and, it. And, and, you, and you, if you can buy into that, okay. then I can maybe buy into it. I agree. Let's use health care as an example. I'm a strong believer that government health care is not the way to go. A government that can't even fix the immigration problem is now talking about wanting to run health care. And health care should be, like what you said, it should be affordable for the average person by getting rid of a lot of the regulation that affects our ability to have more companies, more competition, more consumer choice, empowerment, and control over their own lives. And we can do that with with a private market approach. Well, John, okay, when did education begin to get expensive? When the government got involved? When did health care get expensive? When the government got started getting involved? Okay, the government has to get out of the way. Bureaucrats run this country, not our elected officials, they're there forever. We got to get rid of a heck of a lot of the bureaucrats. And that's the bottom line. Okay, and how do you do that? You cut spending everywhere. You know? In four years, when I was commissioner, our department, with my leadership, was able to return $143 million to the taxpayers. Four years. It had never been done before. But it was done because we were able to really look at everything we were spending and say, okay, how can we be more efficient? Do we need every single dime we ask for? Maybe we could cut back a few things without impacting services. And we made it happen. And the taxpayers benefit. But all of a sudden, I'm watching what's going on in Washington. And that's when my opponent in the primary, Jeb Bradley, was there. Carol Shakeboard is there now. But this isn't just the Democrats. This happened in the last five years. We've all of a sudden changed our, our, our mindset. We didn't look at our core values and stick with them. And we spent ourselves into these de major deficits. Bush made Bill Clinton look like Ebenezer Scrooge. So how do we get out of it? We have to return to fiscal discipline in Washington. That's number one. Because we need to monetary policy. Absolutely. You can't just print money out of thin air. And just because the government says it has value, it does because it doesn't. And we're heading for big trouble if we don't do something. So the first thing is you got to rein in government and cut spending. But it's not, it's not easy. Oh, I know. Because what I'm saying is special interest is involved. When I was commissioner, um, you know, I had to look some providers in the eye and say, we're not going to fund this program anymore because we didn't think it was necessary. And it, that is not an easy thing to do. And, and so these congressmen have a hard time telling special interests that they're not going to get what they ask for. And that's, that's wrong and we've got to change that. No one, no one, they should be, be beholden to no one but the taxpayers. Once the government starts a new program, okay, what you've, what you've developed is another special interest group who never wants that program to go away. How about it? You know, a, a simple system every year or two, you have to justify your existence or you're not there. Or have to vote again to, to authorize that program. We have programs that have gone on for 100 years. This last um, budget, this last budget in Congress had nine, $938 billion. It was about $100 billion of deficit spending. The Democrats in Congress wanted $27 billion more. They ended up putting, giving the president what he wanted, the 938 
and they put the 27 into an emergency appropriation so they could get their their earmarks and their other money that they wanted projects. But at the end of the day, within 24 hours that vote was made and there were 9,000 earmarks. 9,000 earmarks. I mean, looking at some of them, it's, it's ridiculous. One was uh, a Louis Armstrong museum. The Woodstock Museum. One was, um, you know, an alumni association in New York. An alumni association in New York got 100,000. Um, this Charlie Rangel got some money for a, a, a statute or a building named after him. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, the public is, that's repulsive, I think, you know, to the public. Because that spending is so outrageous, and it's really abusing the taxpayers' monies, and it's not returning value to them. And I just hope that at the elections that that, that shows. So we'll see. We'll see. John, ask for the vote. I would ask you and anyone else that wants to change the way things are happening in Washington for a vote for John Stephen for Congress. It's a vote for change, it's a vote for fiscal discipline, and it's a vote for returning to the New Hampshire values that we all respect. Low taxes, low freedom, and more freedom, less government, less regulation, and greater personal freedom. And that's what I'm standing for, New Hampshire values. So I would ask for your vote, your support, and change what's going on in Washington today. It is about freedom. Because less spending means more freedom. So what do you think of the Free State Project? I, I'm really interested in learning more. I'm, I'm interested in making sure that we have less government and more personal freedom. And if we can work together to make sure we bring those values to Washington, we're going to be on the same page. Thank you.